Hey guys, hope you're all having a great day. So in this video, obviously you most likely have some sort of issue with your rows and that's why you're watching this video. And I wanna be here to help you as best as I can with the information that I'm aware of in order to help you to get your roses back to a better place. As you can see, this rose that I have right next to me here is in dire need for some care. So I figured it would be the perfect opportunity to show you all what I'm going to be doing to take care of this rose. There's three steps I'm gonna be taking today and I'm gonna walk you through each one of those steps so that way I can get this rose to be blooming again and look beautiful. So the first step is going to be cleaning up the plant. Since it's the middle of July for me, this plant was blooming in June, started to have issues, stopped blooming. Roses also tend to lull a little bit more in the summer just because it gets really hot and the plants get more stressed. But even then, this has absolutely no blooms on it or buds on it whatsoever. So it's time to give this a good cleanup. And all I'm going to do is deadhead this and cut back all of those spent blooms. So for example, on deadheading a rose, you can see that there's this bloom spike that came up. There's a bunch of um, spent blooms on here. So I'm just gonna take it down to really where the leaves start. So I'm actually gonna cut back all of this here on this cane and just leave this. I'll take that with me and you can see it's just the leaf. Same thing with this, I'll just cut this back. You just wanna make sure you get all of this out so that way it's not trying to produce um, seed heads with this because it's gonna put all of its energy into producing seeds instead of producing more flowers. So you can see that there are no more spent blooms on these branches, just the leaves that are left. And we're gonna be moving on to step two, which is gonna be using a spray. This is the spray that we're going to be using. This is first of all, not an organic. I want to mention that this is a systemic, meaning it is a chemical. I have tried organics on roses and some other things, but you can see maybe I haven't been consistent enough with it, but I still have a huge issue and I need to take care of it. So I'm going to be using this today. So. Obviously, if you want to use this, you can. If not, you can find alternatives to this, but I do want to talk about what I'm going to be using today, and that is 8 Insect Control Yard and Garden. Um, this is from Bonide. So now this one that I have specifically, you can see that I have it attached to a hose. This is the best thing to use, especially if you have you know, a plant that's a little bit on the larger size, or if you have multiple plants that you're gonna be taking care of, I have another one over this way that I'm gonna be taking care of as well. Um, what you do is you attach the hose here, and then you can see it says fan, so you just turn this over and then it allows the water to come out and this inside of the container is a concentrated solution that mixes with the water and allows for um, really good application because you want to get the tops and the bottom of the leaves. So the main purpose for using this solution is it's meant to kill any insects that are on the plant right now and to prevent anything else from happening to this plant. It's important to add that this will kill any insect, meaning even good ones like honeybees and bumblebees and other pollinators. So you want to apply it at the best time of day. Right now it's about 8, 8.30 p.m. in the summer, so it's just starting to get dark now. So trying to do it either early dawn or um, at dusk would be best. I'd recommend just doing it in the evening because there still can be residue left on it for, I believe it said up to 24 hours on here. Um, so when you do it at night and everything goes in bed, uh, goes to bed for the night, then you're gonna be creating the lowest risk for anything. However, thankfully too, with the plant that I have, because there's no active flowers that are open right now, there's not gonna be too many pollinators flying around this plant, and there actually aren't any flowers really around this area. So um, I shouldn't be too, too concerned about that. But again, you're still using a chemical, so you wanna use it right. The other thing, because it is a chemical, you wanna use gloves, because it's going to get on your hands no matter what and you don't want this kind of stuff to get on your skin. So use a pair of gloves at the very least. I also have long sleeves on that I'm gonna roll down and that will help take care of everything for me. So you can also use like a mask if you want to and that'll help you not breathe in anything. Um, I'm gonna stay away from it and there's a little bit of a breeze so I think I'll be all right, but at least gloves and the long sleeves will be beneficial for now. So the next thing is just gonna be applying it and I'll show you how to do that. So this is pretty straightforward to use. I have the hose on right now and it's attached. Um, this nozzle just moves. If you move it one way, then it's gonna give you um, a fan. And then if you move it the other way, it's gonna give you a stream. Fan is gonna be the better option for me so that way I can get a better overall coverage. And all you gotta do is spray it. When you're all done, you can see the plant is dripping. That's gonna allow you to know that you have even coverage over everything. And you really wanna make sure you go around the plant and spray the tops and the bottom of the leaves. So that way it kills anything that's on this plant. So now that we've reactively taken care of the problem, meaning we've taken care of it, 
just for what's happening right at this moment. We need to preventatively take care of this issue so that way it doesn't continue on in the future. And that's what step three is. What I have in my hand now is a systemic rose and flower care. What these are are granules, and these I can sprinkle around the plant. It has a very similar product, or it is this pretty much the same product that's in there. Um, however, this plant also protects and feeds, so it also will feed the plant and give it energy so it can rebloom again. Um, and it'll do this for eight weeks. So once you put this down, you really don't have to worry about this plant for the next eight weeks, and all of your issues should hopefully be taken care of. Um, by using granules, what this does is you shake it around the plant, you can water it in at first, and then also when it rains or when you water it in in the future, the solution that is in here will go into the soil, be taken up by the roots, and will be inside of the plant. So if there's any other insects that go on here and try to eat it, they're just going to end up dying because that same product is on there, um, and you don't have to keep respraying over and over again. So again, this will take care of it for eight more weeks. So this should take me into the fall, and I really shouldn't have to do this anymore this season, but I can then preventatively take care of this problem next spring by putting this down at the beginning when and it starts to grow in the springtime and then that'll last for eight weeks and i probably could do it one more time and again in the middle of the summer so this is pretty straightforward just going to be shaking some granules around so here's the measurements right here for roses we're going to apply about two capfuls per plant for shrubs it's going to be four capfuls per foot of plant height so if your plant is four feet high then you're going to want to do well, 16 capfuls, I guess. And then for flower beds, it's gonna be four capfuls per 12 square feet. So a three foot by four foot bed area. So that's how much you're gonna apply. So because I'm doing this one rose, I'm gonna be doing two capfuls. All right, so that's pretty much it. I'm gonna link both of those products down below so that way they're pretty easy to find. Um, but from this point on, it's really just waiting. There's a little bit of new growth on this rose. I'm sure it's gonna to continue to grow, especially since I've cut it back. Um, so just give time for your rose. And as long as you don't do this too late in the season, it should hopefully bloom for you again. And now you know for the future that you can use the capfuls of um, the granule that you can preventatively take care of this issue. If you have any other questions whatsoever, feel free to put them down in the comment section down below and I will try to answer them to the best of my ability. Um, besides that, I hope you guys like this video. I really hope it was helpful for you. Let me know if you have any other suggestions or anything that you do um, that seems to work for your roses because I would love to hear some other stuff, especially if you have any organic options. Um, that would be great. So besides that, I will see you guys in the next video.